Hi guys, um, I just thought I'd do a quick review, or try and be quick, on um, a figure I bought. Um, I don't usually, it's, I don't usually do figure, uh, I don't usually do figures, I, I kind of stopped buying them uh, a while back. I just kind of, uh, I was spending a bit too much and I had sort of like visions of bankruptcy and um, well just a whole world of pain really if I carried on so I kind of stopped um, I thought I'd try and get in a sensible collecting a bus which was a, even a, probably an even worse idea but um, when I saw this I just I had to get it I just thought it looked so good for the money and um, yeah it come through today um, I bought it off eBay. It's got a few little, it's got a few, um, very few, very small, slight issues of it, um, which didn't bother me in the slightest. I mean, it's got a couple of little paintwork issues. Um, there's a little area there on the leg. You can see that. There's a small, very, very small, like, very small chip on the hand. Um, other than that, it's it's good to go, uh, and I, I got it for fifty quid. Um, like I say, I don't usually do reviews, but this thing, this thing is brilliant. Um, the quarter scale Necker Iron Man um, from the Avengers. It really, I, I can't, I can't sort of talk this up enough. It really is. It is an awesome figure. It really is very, very good. Um, and the, I mean, I opened the box. I've seen the reviews on YouTube, um, and it looked excellent. It really, it did look good. And a lot of people are raving about it. The first thing that strikes you when you open the box is the paint job. The paint job is brilliant. It really is good. The camera's probably not picking up just how good the paintwork is, even with my um, issues. Um, but it's like a, a, a deep, hot rod, shiny red. And the, the gold has got like a like a speckled flick. You can see that. Um, it is, it's awesome. Even the joints, like, they've made the joints look like part of the the armour. Um, so it doesn't just look like a figure with joints, it actually looks kind of as, as a part of like a, a statue if you like, um, although you can pose it. Um, it's just brilliant, I'm trying to go in the back, I'm, 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 I'm sweating like a beast here. Um, partly because it is it's just crazy hot in here but it is it tends to nosedive. He, he did it earlier when I was trying to shoot it, uh, which nearly gave me even more pain with issues. But um, now that they are actually Necker are bringing out stands for these, I believe, in September, and it needs them. I mean, this is really heavy, top heavy as well. I'll try and go in the back so you can have a look. And all the all the back flaps open out. Um. It's just like I used to, like I said, I used to collect figures. I had the Hot Toys, one of the early Hot Toys Battle Damage, I think it was. And they're brilliant, they're, don't get me wrong, they're excellent figures. But, um, this for the money is, I mean, like like I say, I mean, I mean, they sort of retail in the UK for about 85 quid, I think it is, plus, I think plus postage. You might get it posted for that as well. It is an absolute bargain. It really is. I, I'd stick my neck out on the line here and say, it's as good as the Predator, if not better. Uh, I'd even lean towards better, just because they've they've probably come on leaps and bounds in terms of their attention to detail, their their paint work. I mean, I've heard the new Predator figures are are uh, the paint jobs on them are, are slightly better, but this this is excellent. This really is good. Uh, I would try and open the flap, but. 
like I say, I think it would be well and truly battle damaged if he if he went down, so I'm not gonna try at the moment. Um he comes with another set of hands, closed fists. Um let's just come around. Yeah, I mean if you're like an Iron Man fan, you've gotta get it. Hundred percent. If you're a quarter scale fan, you've got to get it. It's just for the money, it is it is really it's on the money. It's brilliant. Um I, what I wanna do, I, I was thinking of battle damage in it, but they're Nick are actually doing a another a battle damage version with the Tony Stark head, which looks actually looks really good. But uh, I definitely want to try and get a base, some sort of uh diorama base for him. Uh, but yeah, it is, it's awesome. It really is good. I can't recommend it enough. Um, like I say, I've got this for 50 quid and it's one of the best 50 quids I've spent, to be fair. It's, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, if you, if you guys like it, if you want to comment or you want to ask a few questions or whatever, you're far away. Uh, like I say, I've got, another, I've got another couple of figures as well that I picked up. I'm sort of entering a very dangerous game of collecting figures again, but they were, they were cheap as well. I got, I got a really good deal on them. I'll, I'll try and get a video up really soon. But, um, yeah, leave your comments below, and uh, I'll try and do another vid soon. Cheers, bye.